What's going on guys? It's the Beastly Gamer here and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm going to talk to you guys about Pokemon Go, a game that's taken the world by storm. Everybody's playing it or knows someone who is playing it. And Nintendo has really kind of captured lightning in a bottle with this mobile app. But it isn't all fun in games. Of course, when we play our video games, for us it's all fun, but they can lead to sometimes unforeseeable events. Violence, sometimes even murder. And, and really the ugly side of gaming can happen when we take ourselves out of our comfort zone, which is usually our home, and venture out to catch Pokemon. And so with that said, I want to tell the Beastly Nation, you guys, to be extremely careful out there. You never know when shit could just go left. You know, you're out there in the world looking for Pokemon, and you don't know what ulterior motives people have. And so you always want to protect yourself and be aware of your surroundings. And with that being said, let's look at the bad and the ugly of Pokemon Go. What started out as just fun and games has turned into multiple crime scenes, religious decrees, and dead bodies. Pokemon Go has swept across the globe in just weeks since it's released. Stories of injuries, crimes, accidents, and safety advisories involving players of the Augmented Reality app have all followed as users go into the world trying to catch them all. Here are some of the most bizarre, alarming, and downright scary Pokemon Go related incidents. Shootings. Two shootings here. Jason Lopez de Leon, 18 died after being shot along with his 17-year-old cousin. The two broke into a home in Guatemala in an attempt to catch a Pokemon, the Daily Mirror reported. The teen's death is the first reported fatality related to the game. Another shooting. Quote, did you get anything, end quote? Asked one man in reference to Pokemon moments before he was shot in Palm Coast, Florida, while sitting in his car with a friend. The shooter saw the car stopped with his brake lights on outside of his house before he went to get a gun. Stabbings. 30 Pokemon Go players witnessed an unknown assailant stab a user in Greenville, North Carolina. One other person was injured and the suspect remains at large. Another stabbing. A teenage girl was stabbed and her friend was hit with a pipe in Redding, California while searching for Pokemon at 2 a.m. A group of assailants approached the two, asked for the girl's purse, and attacked the girls when she refused. Injuries and accidents. A man crashed his vehicle into a police car in Baltimore while using the app. No officers were injured, but the police captured the incident on video. And this is another accident that I actually covered in a previous video. Ignoring warning signs and climbing a fence, two men fell more than 50 feet from a cliff during their Pokemon hunt outside San Diego. A local fire department rescued the players with ropes and harnesses after their tumble. Now here's a myriad of crimes. Around 3 a.m. in Dover, Delaware, Saturday, a group of people assaulted and robbed a 20-year-old user. The man believed his assailants, who stole cash and a gold chain, were playing the game too. Another crime. In Missouri, a string of armed robberies is linked to a group of four teenagers. Police said the teens used the lure feature on the app to attract their victims, and officials connected them to 10 to 11 cases across two counties. Another incident. A registered sex offender Guilty of molesting a teenage boy was caught playing the game with a 16-year-old boy in Indiana. Police say the man violated his probation by using the app with the teen. Another situation. A Wisconsin woman stumbled upon a dead body face down in a nearby river when she was out catching Pokemon. Law enforcement officials said they believe the death was accidental. Another situation. Two Marine veterans found a man wanted for murder in California when they were using the app. The Marine Corps Times reported. As the Marines were out at the Pokestop together, they noticed an apparently drunk man who began following and harassing a mother and her two children. So, this game, while it's fun and a lot of people are enjoying it, does have a pretty scary uh, history just in the, the last few weeks. There's lots of people taking advantage of people looking for Pokemon. I would just say this, going out past dark to look for Pokemon is a really, really poor idea doesn't matter where you live, you never know what a person, a person who has nothing to lose will do anything. A person who's willing to steal is a person who's more than likely willing to kill to, to get from you. So don't go out there at nighttime, never go out alone. There's no reason for two girls to be out walking at 2 a.m., you know, because there are predators out there. Look at all these situations, people being injured, pe people being hurt, accidents, killed behind Pokemon Go. And I know that this is a small, uh, less than one-tenth of one-tenth of one-tenth of one-tenth percent of uh, Pokemon Go users, but the fact of the matter is all these victims, had they were just like you. They didn't know anything about, you know, violence or anyone trying to hurt them. They're just playing a game. So 
Me telling the Beastly Nation, you guys be careful out there. Have you heard of any strange happenings around Pokemon Go? Has anything happened in your community uh, behind people playing this game? Let me know in the comment section below. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time. Take a, 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 take a,